Quadrant for Game 4 of the day here at the Hoops Fix Pro-Am Summer League 2022, supported by Jordan Brand. We've got London United taking on Worthing Thunder. Our second men's game of the day, London United. Afra Khalil, Darren Olatunde, Romario Spence, Daniel Zanko, Renaud Kusha, Justin Wickham, Onome Onyagu, Joseph Richards, Peter Toure, and Suti Gilmore. That is the lineup for London United. Within Thunder, they are Ron Eze, Roger. LJ Morris, Andre Arasol, Trump on Fane, Matthew Ryan Amaling, Lavelle Cook, Denise Apple, Paulin Jackman, Malachi, Bochi Yadam, Tayo Badness, and Ty Sangu. That is a listed roster. Always play with the Summer League. That is this where players have. Uh, a bit later, we will contribute to the best part of this brilliant set of games so far. This is game four of the Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League, which is a brilliant opportunity to see some of the UK's best players going against each other or playing together alongside one another. Configuration you don't often get to see players coming back from America, players coming. From the National League, from the BBL. I mean, talking about players linking up, players together that like, you don't often get to see. We're on Eze and Matthew Brian Ammoning on the same court together as teammates. And experience and joy every day. As we can see, Winning Thunder all in red. Getting their team photo taken for the opening tip off for this one. They are about a minute or so away. We have just been witness to a really exciting, entertaining game of basketball, run and jump. The runaway winners in the end over the Elite Bulldogs. Bulldogs we were with it for a good amount of time. We are three minutes from the opening tip. Run and jump, but ultimately, fourth period. A lot of dominance from run and jump. I mean, headlined by Alex Pistra with the Sunbrew. Of course, Carl Carey. Links between the BBL players and the league players as well. Our first game of the day was won by Team Emerald over Team Diamond. Emerald had it open early. Diamond battled back tremendously well. In the end, they fell just short in game two. Team Sapphire with just six players to start the contest. Injuries. Back to Fabio Modo. And it's time for Tool Kalipa as well, but they still gutted out a healthy win over Team Ruby. Team Ruby head by the returning El Shabrawi. Of course, Jazz from the corner, retiring from the Rugby at the end of this season. And Shaq Joseph, just the name of three, very, very talented individual. Sapphire. They had Shinny Beckman Morton. Morton Jordan. Showing off tremendous athleticism. Basketball ability to the City of London Basketball Academy crowd. So to really pack out this gym. Well, what is the second week of the uh, Hoop Six? Summer League, powered by Jordan Brand. Uh, 
one minute. The opening tip. Both sides through. Just finished going through. Uh, final three games. Four months. Talking things over. Yeah. Our head coach today. We're the third team. Oh no, that's Andre Arasol. Taking the lead on things in the huddle. New signing for the Worthing Thunder. Coming feet. As is Ron Eze. Exciting players. I mean, very exciting things are to come from the Worthing Thunder this season. Had a rebrand. Afra Khalil. 
Just a reminder of the rules if you've not been with us for the first three games, so don't you worry, available on the Hoops Fiction YouTube, you can check them out later. Ten minute quarters for running clock, except for the final two minutes of the contest. That will be played under regular fever rules. Morris gets it to go. Mid range pull up, good for two. Nice forming. Going inside, losing the handle is foul. Morris it is. Having three throws today. Triple just. Oh, it goes! What about it and drops. Played with the foul. NBA just dropped. The foul didn't have to shoot him. Score. It's an and one. Beautiful mate that time. Peter Toure. London United up 92 early in this one. A lot of basketball yet to play with just two minutes. Then some into the contest. Turned over for Mario Spence taking it the other way for London United. That pass got a little bit of weight from I Triple attempt, just off the mark from Haviz Uncle. To move by Josh Richards, sorry, Joseph Richards, should I say. Afra Khalil on the outside, sending it back in. Puts it up, can't go, put back. It's good, it's our man again, Peter Toure. And it's another level. And that's great defense by Matthew Ram and Amine. Finds Moran. He's a throws it down. The man jam. Moran. He's a. Afro Kill. For London United. They're up 11 to 4. Strong lead early. Can't get it to go. Great ball movement, Foreman. Driving in. 
tries to find Toure inside for the first time today. Manakai Pochi Yadam checking into the contest, sealing down LJ Morris. Oh, good on the two. Bees apple. A beautiful outside game. Bees apple. Uh, Where they've done that. Uh, uh, say, uh, say that. Taking a time out early. In the first, it's 11 6 up. London United over Worthington. London United has turned over. Bocci, Yada. Fouled in the act of shooting. It didn't go. So that is. So that is 11 plays 11. It's a one point foul. Remember, if you are fouled in the act of shooting, you will get. And you miss. Get one point for a two point attempt, two points for a three point attempt. If you make it, you're granted the and one. Nagusha driving in. Spence can't go. Good offensive rebounding from the London United and a tough finish from Mario Spence. A second chance opportunity created by Timothy Gilmore. He's wearing four. Ronnie's out. Away by Timothy Gilmore. Gilmore finds Mario Spence. Skips it to the corner. A little bit too much sauce on that one. Daniel Zanka. A little bit. Tai Sangu. <laughs> like he said, London United lead it over Worthing Thunder. The comedy styles of Ishmael Fontaine made just be Andre Arasol driving in. That's been turned over though. Romario Spence 
Taking it the other way. Eze putting on the pressure. Malakai Bocci Adam putting the pressure on. Beautiful skip pass over to Zankot. Keeping it alive. Not long to shoot it. 33 seconds left in the first period of play. On a 10 days, too strong. Bocci Adam breaks the press. Triple, Hafiz Abdul for two, for two. 13 plays, 12. And his toe on the line. Just into the hands of Timothy Gilmore. Six seconds to shoot it, pulls up. Sinks the triple. And that's gonna do it. End of the first quarter. London United need it. 16 to 12 over the Worthing Thunder. The way that started. That was a really fantastic fight back from the Worthing Thunder. Mr. Players taking a break. We're gonna take a break too. You're watching Hoop Six Pro and somebody powered by Jordan. pass from Anyairu, didn't quite come off that time. Bocci Adam, hands up to Hafiz Abdul, fouled in that shooting. That's a one point foul. Again after the super start from London United. 
Reading Thunder. Their head coach, Isaiah Taylor. Oh, beautiful rejection. So the full time. Turn around in fortune. Arisol, one more pass. He's a through contact. Can't get it to go. Back and for it. Zangu coming up with it. Uh, stay with the Thunder. London United. Good defensive pressure. Ishmael Fontaine. Former London line, of course, played in Germany as well. Andre Arasol. Last season, the team started testers. Diving in, Wicker. The three's on the way. Gilmore can't get it to go. Good rebound pulled in by Olatunde. Still with Timothy Gilmore. But a breakdown in communication gives it to Andre Arasol. Gilmore turns it back over. Getting very scrappy right now. Malachi from Matthew Brian Amening and no mistake Ty Sangu a little hit shot makes it a one point contest Gilmore press to go the way long two's on the way and two's on the money Justin Wickham sees his shot go down first point in the second period Matthew Brian Amening batting for that rebound in the act of shooting, so it's going to be a one. One point play, 18 plays, 15. It's that first person foul. Hit to the head. I'm going to do that one. Okay. Running clock, so just five minutes left in this first half. Take it up the floor. London United, Joseph Richards, hand it off to Akra Khalil. Goes inside the three point line, can't get it to finish. Take it the other way. Worthing Thunder. Foul on the floor, Khalil. Puts it down. Mid-range J ties us at 18. Right, Bucky Allen. Could have gone a bit of a show early. Fouled in the after shooting. One point foul. Bucky and then United. We gained the lead. So Mario Spence rejoins the fray. Justin Wickham sitting down. Morris puts it up. 
on the game with opponents. Should uh, either side get into the, uh, the foul penalty. That NBA. Travel calls on Matthew Ryan Anime. Come on. That's Richards. We've got 244 left. First half. Manning through contact. That foul was called. Three point play. Red six with foul. Ty Sangu. Nice ball in. Check it. Soon the contest. Side Spence at the strike. Finds Khalil. Khalil long three. Just short. 28 foot, 22 plays 18. Thrown away by Tai Sangu. Feast Abdul. Tai Sangu sits down. Moody left on the running clock. First half of action, London United taking on the Worthing Thunder. Fourth game of the day, two more to follow. One and then later. For Mario Spence. Tough. Go at it. Can't go. Worthing Thunder. Now possession. Final minute. This first half. Moran Eze kicks to the corner, trips on the way. Can't go that time. Khalil. Foreman. Back to Khalil. The near side corner, put on that strike. Didn't go that time, Romario Spence. 33 seconds. Fontaine taking over the time. Matthew Ryan Amonick. The post moves, the fade away, can't go. Foreman, 20 seconds. So a technical foul assessed to Matthew Bryan Amonick. the penalty foul, a non-shooting foul committed by a team that is within the team foul penalty will result in the opposing team being awarded an automatic two points to their score. Shooting fouls remain unaffected. Like we say, so any non-shooting foul committed once your team is in a penalty will give two points to the opposition team. So very costly Foul. And that's of course different in the final two minutes of play. The final two minutes of play, we just revert back to normal FIBA regulation basketball. 9.8 seconds left in this first half. London United 23 18. On Worthing Thunder, they've got possession, they've just taken time out. 9.8 seconds. What can they do with it? It's going to be Khalil to inbound. He's been picked up by Ishmael Fontaine. Great pressure, going inside, foul. 
foul in the act of shooting. Doesn't go. And that's going to do it. End of the first half. London United lead it 24 18 over the worthy Thunder. It's after a really strong first quarter or finish to the first quarter from Worthing Thunder just six points in that second period of play with London United again they would slow down in their shooting just eight of them but they keep that lead so we are going to take a two minute break during this half time intermission and then we'll be back for the second half of action London United lead it 24 38, no sorry, 24 18 over the Worthing Thunder in the Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022, sponsored by John Grant. Today. 
United. They are going to get us back on the way in just a moment's time. So, let's get United very much out. The home crowds with them here today. Daniel Zanko. Hands off to Timothy Gilmore. Gilmore. Justin Wicky. Off the handle, looking for Mario Spencer. Spencer inside to Ascot. Gilmore, two seconds to shoot it, puts it up. Can't go at the buzzer. Okay, taking the time and then turns it over. Found Gilmore. Off inside, Batten through contact. That'll be one point. Two right. Six plays, eighteen. What do you say? Matthew Bryan, Amani inside. Andre Arasol. Oh, shake a big moment. Show pass, went finish. 20 on the ball for Worthing. Gilmore puts up the triple. To the hand to Matthew Ryan Avenue. Too strong on that attempt. Harris Football. Showing off the handle. He's one of the stars. The all stars. The National Basketball League Division. Timothy Gilmore. Cross to Daniel Zancock. Paul Zancock. Dispossessed. Matthew Brian Abbott is going to take it the other way. Trying to find the beat. Absolutely too low. Arasol. Triple. Bringing a bad situation into a great situation. Andre Arasol. Next a triple. United. Need to talk things over. They take a time out. Two minutes and fifteen. In fact, the timeout has nothing called. Bit of a miscommunication. Timeout. 26 plays 24. Two point contest. I thought that we'd uh, just seen what I call a Mark Clark timeout. Take what Rumble is taken. Mario Spence taking it inside. We're on easy. Something. Yes, Mario Spence jumping, sends it inside to Matthew Brian Amine. Andre Arasol just short on the triple. Four point contest on the United in the lead. Ten minutes left in the third. Way three down. Peter Toure. On the assist from Mario Spence. Seven point the difference now. Matthew Brian Amine. Working his way inside. Oh! Throws it down. Tells him that Peter Toure. Too small for him. 31 plays 26. Oh, 
corner, the triple. Gilmore pulls it down, the rebound. Foul call. Taking him. Championships all over the world. It does need to be careful. It does have. from Elias Foreman. United with Thunder, 2.52 left in the third period. Not a match officials, just wanted to clarify something with the table. Remember, running clock, clock does not. Running clock. Running clock until the end. Until two minutes to go in the contest. So, 
Drive it in. Nice, poor moon. Taking it direct. Just points, no look pass, and that's going to be a goal turn. Peter Tura not able to get there. We tied again at 34. Gorgeous pass, Matthew Bryan Avenue. Watch your dam. Going to get hot. Monte pressuring Foreman. Still Foreman. Kicked over to the corner, Andre Arasov got a hand to it. Afra Khalil, the intended target. Fifty left, period number three. Hooray, beautiful finish. He's been handled in the paint, answered everything he got. Saying triples on the way. Stays out. Bocci Yada. Had a good look at it. He'll be back for more. Great ball movement from London United. Trying to set up what they're looking for. Khalil. Still Khalil. Rejected and that comes off. Khalil. Two substitutions checking in for London United. Joseph Richards and Anome Anyaiwi. So we are inside 40 seconds now to play in the third period of play. Game number four of the Hoops team. Absolutely, two more games to go. We'll talk you through those two. A couple of moments time. Andre Arasol pulls up, pulls the trigger. Boneless from Andre Arasol. Gives Worthing Thunder the one point advantage. 36 plays 37. Foreman checking the time. 12 seconds. Going inside Toure. There's a whistle, there's a foul in there. See who it's assessed on. It's Ishmael Fonte. And with that foul, oh, it's all tied up at 37. 37 plays 37. London United and Worthing Thunder. A much better quarter from Thunder. Getting themselves level in this contest. We have two more games. Taking off the Thames Valley Cavaliers in game five. Just a couple, and again, this is just a pretty much random sample of names from both teams. Edmir Lucas, AJ Roberts, Jordan Williams, just to name three yeah, of yeah. City of London Academy for the Thames Valley Cavaliers. We've got one Manning, Jonathan Lashley, Danny Del Sol, Lowry, Martin, 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 Martin. And the final game today, game six. The Glacier Boys, featuring the likes of Josh Hart, uh, Josh Steele, Joe Hart, Bradley Caboza. We'll take on Hoop Space, take with the likes of Denzel Ubiaro, Jules Dango, Kodo, and Ilias Tewu. Two games of the day, slated for tip of 5 and 6.15 respectively. We are looking on course for those. Make sure that you're following our YouTube channel here at Hoopsfix. Not that you don't miss a moment of the action. Again, huge thank you to all of you joining us. It's been a very, very enthralling game of basketball and a fantastic advert once again for British basketball in this country. Eight minutes.
The clock will run. Final two. Worthing Thunder in red. Gengar's back underway. Andre Arasov. He's triple tied it up just a moment ago. Inside to Arasov. Oh, uh, sorry. Inside. So it's a three point play. Bucket good from LJ Morris. So that should be. 40 on board for Worthing, but we will just wait. Official confirmation in the arena. So it has just been awarded at one point. It's been picked up by Ize. Triples on the way, triples down. LJ Morris makes it 37 41. This is more like it from the Waving Thunder. They lead. Toure, long two is good. And pressure in his face from Ty Sagu. Gorgeous pass, Andre Arisol. He's out goal. I mean, he did his bit, but the rim said no. 39 plays 41. Richard pressured. Turned it over. Great pressure there from Sangu. Picks it up. Too strong. Trying to battle through and he does brilliantly on Yairu. Gets it away to keep to Ray. No ball on the plate. Toure looking to go through contact. Kicks out. Good basket. Good. Joseph Richard. Timothy Gilmore check back into the contest. Afra Khalil. So a slower scoring game than the one that preceded it. But the same amount of drama. Now Gilmore. Side of 41. Andre Arasov. For the Worthing Thunder, can't quite get that to go. They have a foul. Flat ten, Anomi. Foul on the floor, so it's 41 41 remains. Side. Three contact shooting foul. That's the third foul on London United. Joseph Richard. Mario Spence going inside, step back after the contact with Hafiz Abdul. Just about pulls down that rebound. Sim out of position. Can't go, Arasol. We're then do turn that over. Great initial play there by Varon. Timothy Gill 
trouble. Five minutes left in this contest. Just one point between them. Romario Spence nets the triple. Makes it a two point swing to the London United. Ties is back up at 44. Spence triple back to back. 47 plays 44. Romario Spence putting on a show. Matthew Brian Avening to check in this time for Kings Apple. Tries to get Spencer jumping, no look pass, rejected, but retains the ball. Triples on the way. Just too short from Eze. custom two, three minutes left in the contest. Matthew Bryan Amanek jumps forward on that triple attempt. LJ Morris sits down. Ishmael Fontaine into the contest. Four point, four game. Arasol gets that pass into the hands, gets it back, can't finish. A little two man action for him, it's Matthew Ryan Amening. Arasol steps out of bounds. Castle was back into the contest with sharpshooters. A bound for Worthing Thunder. Drive, kick, steps in. Now trip out of play. Clock will stop. We're inside two minutes of the final period of play. That means some free throws as well. Our back of the cards. Just a normal game of basketball from here on out. Matthew Brian Avenue. Players hanging off of him. There's a swipe by Spence. Gilmore sends it inside to Spence. Khalil, 1.30 to go. Plenty of time for Worthing. But Spence right now in control of the ball. Oh, with a hand in his face. Spence makes it a six point contest. Seven seconds, and the clock is not moving. And then we start. Ready to get us back underway, Worthing Thunder. Andre Arasot, the time into the hands of Matthew Brian Amity. Spence put on the pressure. Listen to the response from the fans. That's the third foul for Matthew Bryan Browning. Six and place 44. 
Aggressive final period for London. Gilmore, forced to pick it up. Gets the pass away. Side. Wow. Sassed to Fontaine as Romario spent in a big way. Big three point makes. Mid range makes with a hand in his face. Now he's up the spot. He's this the dagger. First is good. Second to go. Andre Arasol over the timeline. Final minute of play. Hands off to Ishmael Fontaine. Got ready to pull up for the three. In two minds, stinked off. Chanel. Wines. Richards. Finish on the baseline. 53 plays 44. Arasol. Fontaine dribbles just off the mark. Timothy Gilmore gets it over the timeline. Pressure to stay. Spence sends it down low. Up high goes Peter Torre. Jams it home. Exclamation point on this game and on his performance. 55 plays 44. United, and I think Andre Harrison looks like he's going to dribble things out. And he is, that's going to do it. So a dominant final couple of minutes from London United, and really the last two and a half minutes of the game. London United established that lead, that strength that they had in that first period of play. A couple of real standouts from them. Spence, the from Mario Spence at the end there. Big threes, big shots through the pressure. He, he was a real different maker. Nice ballman as well. He had the team strong earlier in the contest. Peter Touray finishing with that exclamation point on the Finishing out the ball game. London United taking the win. With the Thunder though, they in this contest. For a long time, Bernard Eze, of course, Matthew Brian Amity, both putting in big performances inside. Player who I was really impressed by, Ty Sangu. Thought he really you know, went hard for his team. But in the end, that's going to do it for us in game number four from the Hoops Mix Pro Now Summer League, brought to you by John Brand. It is Monday night in 55 where the thunder.